Paul in Syracuse, New York. Now, we are here at Cortland County, which is the gateway to Central New York. So, we were driving up there. We were planning to go to the Central New York Welcome Center, which I wanted to go this very long time after I went to the Mohawk Valley Welcome Center. Mom says this is gonna be the last trip that you said you wanted to go to for long. So we, but first, it, but it was kind of early. So first we went to some TV stations in Central New York. First, it was WCNY, the PBS station in Syracuse. Now, what's found WCNY the most interesting TV station is their walkway here. I would read the thing to you. Welcome to WCNY Whitney Kids Character Walk. WCNY is committed to creating fun educational experiences for learners of all ages. This walk is specially designed for families and little ones. Each sign on the walk features a different PBS Kids character, a quick activity, and lots of fun. Enjoy. Here's Daniel's quote. When you feel so bad you want to roar, take a deep breath and count to four. And below it, it says, name something that would be in your neighborhood of make-believe. Next comes Luna's quote. We live in a big, beautiful world. Below it, it says, can you see the moon during the day? Take a look up in the sky. Next comes Cookie's quote. A friend is someone to share the last cookie with. And below it, it says, many cookies are circles. Look around you, what shapes do you see? This is Flash and Bubbles quote. No reef is too big, no job is too small. Let's protect the oceans for one and for all. Below it it says, how can you keep your neighborhood clean? Next comes Curious George's quote. Keep curious and carry a banana. And below it, it says, Curious George's best friend is the man in the yellow hat. Who is yours? Well, my best friend is Jeffrey. Next quote from Molly Denali. Let's go and discover the outdoors. Below it, it says, There are more bald eagles in Alaska than any other state. Keep an eye out for eagles in, El in Syracuse. Well, it's too bad I haven't done that, though, but it's winter, so next quote from Big Bird. Bad days happen to everyone, but when one happens to you, just keep doing your best and never let a bad day make you feel bad about yourself. Below it, it says, Give someone you know a hug today. Next quote from Arthur. Having fun is easy when you have a library card. Below it, it says, Can you spell Arthur the Arthrog's last name? Hint, it's something that you do with a book. Well, ha, I can read the text, silly. Edit. After the original upload, now I have a better understanding of the question. This needs to be updated. His last name is Reed. Not Oddvark. So that's here, that's the update. This one's from Wildcraft. Animals can take you anywhere in science. And uh, below it says, say the names out loud of three wild animals. You guys do it in the comments below. Well, we're getting close to the best one, but that's gonna be our last one because we can't get to the other one. So Cliff's quote is, it only takes a little to be big. Below it, it says, can you name three things that are the same color as Clifford the Big Red Dog? Do it in the comments below. Well, we're near the checkpoint, so that is gonna be it for the thing. We can't do the last one. Here's a little video that I take. That took some time in our video. Let's see, speed things up a little bit so we can get to the other station and then our video of Central New York. Welcome Center. So this is Spectrum News. Nothing much here. Speed things up. This is Fox 68 WSYT and my TV 
in Syracuse. Here's the building, and let's go up to the next station. So this is WSTM NBC3, and also CBS is here too in Syracuse. These are the stuff, and now let's head to the last station. Okay, here's the radio station here, but that's not the last station. We need to go even further. Here's the last station, ABC9. Okay, and now, to the Welcome Center! New York thing. Wait for that. Hold on. And now, last but not least, the Central New York Welcome Center. Here it is. Well, like every Welcome Center, they had little something. And they had lots of interesting stuff, like this thing, and an apple peeler. That thing is really old. And what else? We got the tin lantern thing, and the map thing. Give me a sec. That thing is a neo collar and shoe. And for people who enjoy The Wizard of Oz, here's something that you would like at the Central New York Welcome Center. It's a plate, a book, and a pop-up book of The Wizard of Oz. Yay! And this is the New York State Fair thing. It's great, huh? It's a state fair ticket and a historic photo of something. And look at this, it's the Finger Lakes Wine Collection. And here's something about your boxing lover. A TV boxing thing about a champion in the Central New York. What do you think I am? You think I know everything? I just went to this place yesterday. If you're watching this couple of days. Oh, and here's a National Woman Suffrage mo poster from the 1900s and stuff. The New York State Fair ticket again. Oh, and here's the, po the picture I was talking about. Here is something that's so interesting. It's a Native American collection. And here's the stuff here. That's a boat model. Here's a baseball thing. Here's a French and Indian War uniform. Here's a question for you. What is the common nickname for Syracuse? The answer is Salt City! So then I took some pictures and now I'm going to try to capture a better thing of the TV.
Well, it's not NBC. That's okay. It's something. So that was it. We headed down I-81 and then we went on Route 17, then on I-84 and then we're back home. Thanks for watching, Paul at Syracuse, New York. Have a good day and a happy new year.